EBS volume and instance store volume, right? So, which one is called temporary volumes? Instance. And then, which one is uh, persistent storage? EBS. And if you stop and start EC2 instance, which has EBS volume attached, data is lost? No. If you reboot data is lost for EBS? No. If you terminate data is lost? Yes. And if you stop and start EC2 instance, which has uh, instant store volume attached, then data is lost? Yes. If you reboot, data is lost? No, data is not lost. Very good. So, if you stop and start the EC2 instance, in the back end, it will jump from one host to another host? Yes or no? Yes, it will. So, if you reboot, will it, be, will it jump? No, it doesn't jump. And then, uh, can you tell? Can you can you just tell me a few different types of volumes that we have learned? Five. Episodes. Which is the most common used volume? The common use is GP2. GP2. Yeah. And in general purpose, how many types are there? GP2 and GP3. GP3. Two are there. GP2 and GP3. Which are uh, which volumes are SSD volumes? Uh, general volume and IOS. Which I volumes are SSD? Yes, GP2, GP3, I1 and I2. Which one are IOPS configurable volumes? IO1, IO2 and GP3. Oh, GP2 is IOPS configurable or GP3? GP3. Yes, Ash, yes, right. So GP3, IO1 and IO2 are IOPS configurable. So GP2 has IOPS, default IOPS. Yes, what is the ratio? 1 is to 3, One is to three, ratio. Is to three ratio. Okay. And root volume supports, root volume supports, what, are, what volume types? Root volume supports, GP2, GP3, IO1, IO2 and standard. Very good. Very good. And additional volume supports? All types. All. Very good. And if I, if I terminate the EC2 instance, by default, root volume will be deleted? Yes. Yes. Why? Because? Root volume is deleted. Because? What is checked? Delete on termination. Delete on termination is check yeah but if you terminate uh, yes if you terminate the ec2 instance how about the additional volumes additional volumes will be deleted by default no it will not because delete on termination is unchecked for that nice okay so this is what we have discussed in our last class right and today, let's jump on to the next. Yes, you can customize based on the requirement. Very good. Good, very good. Okay, so the next important topic for today is Snapshots. Snapshots. Guys, so in general, what is snapshot called in normal words? Snapshot. Copy. Clone. Duplicate. Nice. What you said is right. So basically, copy, right? So here, let us see copy of what that is the topic here. Copy of what is the topic. So let's say, for example, 
we have an EC2 instance. Okay, we have an EC2 instance. This EC2 instance. EC2 instance. This can be in uh, which availability zone? Let's say, for example, in one A. Hmm? Okay, so this has the volumes now. This can have the root the root volume, and this can also have the additional volume. Okay, this is root, and this is additional volume. Guys, can you tell me what does the root volume contains? Root volume contains OS. Okay. Now here the question here is EC2 instance is in a one A availability zone. How about the volumes? Volumes should be in the same availability zone or volumes can be in different availability zone? Volumes should be in the same availability zone. So that meaning this should be also in one A. And this also should be in a one. A. Keep that in mind. Okay. Now, yes. Now, let's say for example, uh, this has 50 GB of sites. This my additional volume is 50 GB of sites. Now I have some data called ABC. Now I have data called ABC. Now, guys, I want to take the backup. I want to take the copy. I want to duplicate or I want to take the copy of my volume. Right? So what is snapshot? The copy of the, the point in time copy of the volume is called snapshot. Yeah? Point in time copy of volume. So guys, if you want to take backup of the volume or you can say point in time copy of the volume, backup of the volume, everything is same. Guys, we are not taking the whole EC2 instance backup, but we are taking only the volume backup, whatever based on the requirement. Let's say, for example, you have D, E, F, G, H, I drives, and you want to take the backup of the volume. Can you take it? Yes. What is the backup of the volume called, everyone? What is the backup of the volume called? Snapshot. What is that? Backup of the volume is called snapshot. So here, why did I say point in time copy of the volume? Point in time copy of the volume meaning. So that meaning, guys, let's say you have, uh, let's say uh, someone has put the Kung Fu, uh, Kung Fu style photo, right? And then you took the snapshot, you took the copy, you took the photo, right? And then, and then if you change the position, will it be reflected, reflected in that photo? Definitely no. So here, when you took a backup, when you took a copy when you take a copy of this volume which has abc the data the snapshot will contain only abc and if the if the if if someone has put def will the snapshot contain def automatically no no that is why it is called point in time at that particular point in time whatever the whatever uh, whatever the data is there that is the that is backed up so Suppose the volume has 50 GB. And then you are taking the backup of this volume. What is the backup of the volume called? Snapshot. What is the size of the snapshot if you take it? 50 GB only now. Right? 50 GB only. Okay. Now, this contains ABC data. This contains ABC data. Now, I have added here. DF. Can you tell me the DF will be replicated here in, in this snapshot, first snapshot? No. So what I need to do for that? Again, I need to take the backup. Again, I need to take the snapshot. Again, the, you need to take the snapshot. And can you tell me, guys, this snapshot will be what size? Again, 50 GB? And now, this contain, this contain A, B, C, D, E, F. Yes? Yeah. But here is the thing. So, guys. When you take the snapshot, it 
initially it will take the whole size 50 GB. So the volume is 50 GB and if you're taking the backup every day for 30 days, that meaning how much GB that you are having, you need to pay for the snapshot also, na? Nice. You need to pay, you need to pay for the snapshot 50 GB, 50. Array, you have actual volume is 50 GB and you are not, you are paying more on the snapshot. Right? So this is not the case. So basically here, first time it will take the 50 GB, next time it will not take 50 GB. So whatever the delta data is there, only that values are recorded, that values are taken the backup. That meaning it is incremental backup. What is this called? Incremental backup. So whatever the data is incremented there, that only will be they will be taken the backup here incremental backup right in this case but remember a, a snapshot has a very good uh, intelligence that whichever uh, okay let's say you have 10 snapshot and 10th snapshot if you take it guys if you take it the 10th snapshot if you restore it you will get all the data you no need to worry about you know which snapshot has what data and all Whatever the snapshot you took it on the particular day and what in the everything what you have in the back, everything will be restored. Right? So should we keep on writing? Okay, by the way, so guys, here snapshots are created from EBS snapshots are created from volumes, EBS volumes. Keep this in mind. So EBS snapshots are created from EBS volumes. Guys, you have snapshots, and from snapshots, what do you create again? Ha, ah, volumes only. Guys, is it possible to attach direct snapshot to the EC2 instance? Right? No, you cannot attach, you cannot attach snapshots directly to the EC2 instance. No. What you need to do? You need to first create the volume out of it, and then that created volume, you need to attach it to the EC2 instance. That meaning, restoring meaning what here? Cre taking the backup meaning snapshot, restoring meaning you create a snap, you create a volume from that snapshot and then you attach it to the EC2 instance. Is it clear till here everyone? Yes. Let me start writing the points for you. Snapshot is a point in time copy of the volume, right? And then number two, I can also say that backup of the volume, backup of the volume is also called as snapshot. Uh, EBS snapshot are created from EBS volumes. Okay. What do you create from the volumes? What do you create from the snapshot? You can from where do you create the uh, uh, volumes, guys? Again, the snapshots is the same thing. So EBS snapshots are created from volumes and from, or you can say that you can create a snapshot from the volumes. From where do you create the snapshot? From the volumes. So that meaning EBS volumes, from EBS volumes, you create EBS snapshot From EBS snapshots, you create again EBS volumes. Okay. And also, you cannot attach snapshot directly to the EC2 instance. You have to create a volume 
out of snapshot and then attach the volume to the is it to instance that makes sense still here everyone nice okay <clears throat> Okay, so guys, here everything, whatever we create the snapshot, everything will be visible in the EC2 service console only, na? Yes or no, guys? When you launch an EC2 instance, that will be visible in your EC2 console, and your volumes will be visible in say EC2 console. Where are the volumes stored, guys? In EBS, na? EBS, and then. Uh, where are the snapshots stored? Of course, EBS. But the thing is here, A AWS is saying something a little bit secret to you in your ears. Saying that, guys, snapshots, when you took the snapshots, when you took the snapshot, it will be visible in EC2 console only. And from there, you can create volumes, you can do whatever you want to do for the snapshots, you can do it. But it is telling in your ears saying that, hey, Hey guys, everyone here. You see the snapshot, you just took the snapshot and you see the snapshot in EC2 console. Na? Those snapshots are stored in S3 EC. Where? In S3. Who's S3? It is not in our S3, not in our customer's S3. Don't go to S3 and see, sir, where are my snapshots? No, it is providers, AWS S3. Guys, every, everything should be stored in some place, right? Right? So snapshots, guys, we have full control on the snapshots. Don't think that we need to retrieve from S3, sir, we need to download it from S3, the snapshot. No, it is not the case. It is, he's just telling Chumma that, you know, hey, in backend, all your snapshots are stored in S3. Guys, all kind of operations you can do it from EC2 console itself. There is nothing they can give from the S3 to the snapshots. It's just Chumma saying that snapshots are stored in S3. Who's S3, guys? Providers S3. That meaning AWS S3. <clears throat> Got that? Do you have any question on the top, on that seventh point? So don't get confused that it is just to, it is just saying that because I got this certification question when I was writing, but I was, uh, <laughs> but. This one, no one will think that, you know, snapshots are stored in S3, right? I told her, what the hell, snapshots, how this will store in S3, it is in EC2 itself, and I put the wrong answer. So later when I realize it, when I search for that, then I got to know that snapshots will be still visible in EC2, but in the back end, all those stores are, all those, all those snapshots will be stored in S3. <clears throat> Okay, guys. One question for you: Is it possible to log in and you? Uh, is it possible to log in or use the snapshots directly? <clears throat> is it possible to log in or use the snapshots directly? As you said, no. It is of no use until and unless you create a volume out of it. It will just be like that. Guys, and also, volume has availability tones? Yes. Volumes has availability tones? Yes. But remember, snapshots don't have any availability tones. Snapshot doesn't have any availability tones. Keep this in mind. Okay. You create a snapshot out of the volume and just be like that. And that's all. And if you want to, and if you want that snapshot to be available in that, but in uh, 1A or 1B or 1C, create a volume out of it. And you know, right, volume has availability tones. While creating a volume from the snapshot, you can easily select the, uh, you can easily select the availability zone. 
But for the snapshots, you don't have any availability zones. But if you create a volume out of it, that volume you can select in which availability zone that you want. The snapshot, that volume can. Yeah? Tell me, snapshots are regional or global? Right answer. Snapshots are regional. Guys, EC2 is regional. Na? Till we finish that EC2, everything what we discuss inside the EC2, any different concept, everything are regional only. Because EC2 is regional. Snapshots are regional, volumes are regional, uh, snapshots are regional, volumes are regional, everything is regional here in EC2. So, snapshots are regional. Okay? Yes. And again, question. By default, okay, now you have created a snapshot out of a volume, yeah? And that snapshot, by default, it is private or public? Snapshot by default, private, public. Very good. See, you got the concepts. So, guys, Everything in AWS by default, it is private only. Everything in AWS, I'm not talking to EC2. Everything in AWS by default, it is private. Right? If you create a snapshot, it is private. If you create a volume, it is private. If you create anything in EC2, it's private. If you want to make it public, yes. If required, you can make it public. Bucket also private, yes. But let's not get bucket here, people will get confused. Pankaj. Okay. So, guys, and okay, so uh, now I have launched an EC2 instance in Mumbai, re Mumbai region. My EC2 is available only in Mumbai region, also. Uh, Mumbai region only, na? will it be available to any other region, Ireland region? No, it is regional. So, it will be available only in Mumbai. Good. Now you took the snapshot. Now you took the snapshot out of it, out of one volume. And snapshot is also available in Mumbai. Now, somehow, I need to have a volume or I need to have the snapshot. Whatever the data is there inside the snapshot, I need to have this available in another region. Not in Mumbai. I want to have it in another region. No. But the thing is here, guys, you have a super good advantage here. The snapshots can be copy from one region to another region in the same account. Got that? So snapshots can be copied from one region to another region. It will not be available, but you need to initiate the copy. You have an option called copy snapshot. If you click on copy snap snapshot, it will list down all the regions in select the region. And if you click on copy and this snapshot will be available inside that region. But by default, no, but you need to make it. If you want, you can do it. Right? So here, you can copy the snapshots from one region to another region, right, in the same account. You will get a question, sir, now, this is in the same account, right? This is in the no, not using edge location. Edge location is for caching purpose, Ashish. Edge location is for caching purpose for application. Now we are talking about the hard disk volumes concept. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So snapshots can be moved from one region to another region, right? In the same account. Let's say, for example, now I want to give this snapshot to Ashish, which is in complete different account. Yes, that is also possible. How snapshots are snapshots can be 
shared from one account one aws account to another aws account that can be shared guys using account id everyone has an account id na so if using that account id so you can no it is not public don't don't get mistake here this is a mistake again okay. see if you are sharing the snapshot from one account to another account let's say i'm sharing my snapshot to ujwala so my snapshot is public or still private my snapshot is still private right if i make it available public there is an option called public if we avail public it will be available for the entire world but if you are sharing to only particular person you could say that it is still private it's not public okay thanks nice. one question for you this question will make you make me understand whether you understood or not guys is it possible to copy the volumes directly from one region to another region hmm, what is the answer answer is no right reason i am asking is it possible to copy the volumes directly from one region to another region hmm no is answer but what is the logic put the logic why why can't you do that Oh, yeah, it is hard disk. It is regional. That is all. It is private. That is all correct. Pankaj, you are right. So, guys, volumes you cannot directly move. No, you need to create the snapshots out of it. Is it possible to move the volumes directly from one region to other region? Volumes? No, volumes cannot be moved. So, you need to take the snapshot, and from that snapshot can be copied from one region to another region. directly volumes cannot be copied you know that answer i know that is sir you asked the question correctly sir you answer right yeah so let me put that here all that too so ebs volumes cannot be moved directly to another region so in here create snap snapshot first and and then move the snap snapshot i mean okay, okay because it's directly mounted to machine yes yes that's the logic volumes are created volumes are created from snapshot from additional volume guys did i mention anywhere it is additional volume or root volume i was mentioning only volumes so everything is applicable for the both root volumes and additional volumes in what frequent basis the snapshot will be taken can is it possible to answer that in what frequent basis snapshots will be taken is it possible to answer that definitely no because it's purely purely depend upon the requirement one customer will say that every day he need to have a snapshot and one customer will say that uh, every every week he need to have or one customer will says every minute he can he should have it's purely depend upon the requirement okay snapshots are incremental or full backup incremental yes it is incremental oi malik not full it is incremental yeah nice okay so i'll put one more certification question here
So we will be using EBS volumes or instant store volumes. EBS. EBS or instant EBS only, right? Remember, instant store volumes. If you go for instant store, then it is temporary, right? Based on the requirement, you need to go for it. So, so guys, here EBS volumes are created from EBS snapshots, right? EBS snapshot and instant store volumes are created from a template stored in S3. Just remember, you don't need to worry on that. Because these instant store volumes are created directly by the AWS. We don't have option to create it. So it will it will create it by itself. So it will it will create a it will use a uh, template which is stored in S3 because you no need to remember this, but I saw this in a certification question and that's why I put it here. So keep this in mind. EBS volumes are created from snapshots we know and instant store volumes are created from a template that is stored in S3. Snapshots is creating by default or do we need to enable it? It will not be by default. We need to, we need to take the snapshot whenever we need. It will not be default. Sir, is snapshot not created from volume? Why not? Here. Yeah. Point number four, Fahimuddin. Both ways, both the ways, you can take, you can create a volumes out of a snapshot and from snapshot, you can again create a volumes. Yes. Why? Why so? so? Yes. Hey, one question. Another, okay, another one. Another question. <clears throat> to create a snapshot, we need to stop AC2 instance. No need. The right answer. To create a snapshot, we no need to stop the AC2 instance. We no need to stop the AC2 instance. Yeah, on fly you can do it. True. Good. Is this is it clear on snapshots? Everyone, CC. Nice. So here, let us talk a little bit on encryption here because this is related to the volumes here, right? So encryption. So guys, encryption meaning you know very well. What is encryption? Why do we use encryption? For security purpose right so this would be a certification question so guys by default volumes and snapshots are not encrypted by default by default volumes and snapshots are not encrypted those are not encrypted Okay, those are not encrypted. And let me tell you a few things here. Guys, we have something called concept uh, unencrypted. Okay, now you tell me, guys, let's say for example, volume, snapshot, whatever you take it. Yes, if you want, we can, definitely. So guys, if you, let's say for example, unencrypted, volume or snapshot, whatever you take it, that is unencrypted. So whenever you create anything from unencrypted, it is encrypted or unencrypted. Whenever you create anything from unencrypted, it is encrypted or unencrypted. Unencrypted only. Very good. So whenever you create anything from encrypted, it is encrypted or unencrypted. Encrypted. Very good. Okay. These are all certification questions. Okay. I'm putting the logic. Okay. Now you have unencrypted. Now you have unencrypted. From unencrypted, I need to encrypt it. Right? From unencrypted, I need to encrypt it. Yes. You can also do that. Encrypt, encrypted. You can do that. But how? There is an option called copy option. 
Guys, did we learn that we can copy the snapshot from one region to another region? In that, in that itself, you can copy you can copy that snapshot in the same region also. While the, while copying this, you have an option to encrypt it. The, and let's say you have a volume or you have a snapshot which is which is not encrypted, and you want to encrypt it. How? Copy option. Go to the copy option. And then you have you can enable the encryption. You take the snapshot, and from the snapshot you create a volume, and that volume will be encrypted. You got that? And and, and guys, we are talking about encryption. Encryptions are related to the keys. Keep this in mind. All your encryption keys, all encryption keys are stored in a separate service called KMS, very important, Key Management Service. Key, KMS, another new service, guys, here. What is KMS? Key Management Service. So if I ask you a question like, hey, where do you, where all the encryption keys are stored? In which service? Where do you create the encryption keys? Where do you store the encryption keys? Right? From where you will get the encryption keys? KMS, Key Management Service. But the good and very good thing about the AWS is you no need to worry about decryption. So decryption is automatically handled by AWS. Encryption and decryption is automatically handled. You just need to select the checkbox. Encrypted or encryption you want to enable, enable it. That's all. Everything is encrypted. Okay. Now? Okay. So let me give... Uh, how frequently we can take the snapshot? Same question again. Generally, how frequently we can take the snapshot? How do we say that? Because it's purely depend on the requirement. Na? In generally, one every day. To make you satisfied. That's to make you satisfied, yeah. So usually, yeah, via customer requirement. So yeah, depends on the requirement, yeah. So only we cannot really say. But in general, it would be not even say that. You can think it of every day, once in a day, okay? But if the if the customer says that he we want every day, twice, thrice, every second schedule, we don't know. It's different. Okay, yeah. Let me give you one thing. Okay. So guys, let me put a question for you here and tell me the answer. How to move a volume? Hey, tell me if the volume is in one A, that one A volume can be attached to one B C two instance? Hmm? No, no, definitely no, definitely no. Okay, so I want to move. How to move a volume from one availability zone to another? Availability zone. How? How to move? Excellent. See, you got the concept. So that is the whole concept. This is also one of the practical that we'll be doing it. For example. So let's say I have two EC2 instances here. This is EC2, and this is EC2, and <clears throat> this is in 1A, and this is in 1B, and this guy has a volume here, this guy has a volume here, root volume, and then additional volume, okay? So, of course, this is this is root, and this is additional. This is additional. This is root, and the volume should also be in the same available zone. One A, one A, one B, and. 
Okay, okay, did I miss the questions here? If I take a snapshot today and tomorrow again, I have taken the later one snapshot, has all the backups of the earlier one, then earlier snapshot can be deleted? Yes, it is. Okay. Guys, <clears throat> let's say for example here, I have uh, some data here. Usually I take, okay, guys, give me two movie names. Let's name the instances here. Give me two movie names. Movie names, yeah? Give me two movie names. Appa, Jati Ratnalu, Vakil Sahab. Saho, Salar. Wow, okay. This is good. Bahubali is good. Yeah, Bahubali. Okay. I cannot put Jati Ratnalu and all these things here, but yeah, something really. Yeah. So let's say, for example, this is called Bahu instance. Okay. And this is called Kart Kartiki Deepu. <laughs> okay, good. So here, should we call it as KGF? I will use this. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so Bahu Valley and, yeah. So Bahu instance and KGF instance. So here, in this, in this guys, in this here, I have Bahu movie, Bahu Valley movie. Hmm? Here I have KGF movie. Okay, now, the question here is for you, the question here is, I want KGF, in KGF instance, I need Bahu movie and in Bahu instance, I need KGF movie. How to do that? I need this guy here and this guy here. And you guys, can you detach this volume and attach to the EC2 instance? EC2 instance? Yes? Definitely no. So what do we do first? What is the first uh, first thing that we do it? I know. Okay. First we need to take what? We need to take the snapshot. First take the snapshot. Okay. And what does the snapshot contain? The snapshot contain what movie here? Bahu movie. Okay. And from the snapshot, what do you create again? What? From this snapshot, you create a volume. Okay. Volume. What does the volume contains? Which movie? Bahu movie. Okay. Now you tell me, this volume should be created. You are creating a volume. This volume should be in which availability zone? can say you are creating a volume you want to move it to 1b so the volume which you have created what is the, what is the end goal yeah so you created a, volume, a snapshot out of it and volume out of it and this volume should be attached to here na? so that means this volume should be in which availability zone huh? yes 1b not in 1a so I told you that implement our concept guys so implement our concept so eventually this volume has to be attached right yes and the same here let's create a volume out of uh, let create a snapshot out of it from kgf so here snapshot snapshot what is the movie does the snapshot contains kgf and out of that we create a volume and volume has what movie here? KGF and this volume should be in which availability zone now? One day. And simply what you do is simply this 1B volume you attach it here 
and this 1A volume simply you attach it here. So this is how you move, this is the, this is the thing how you move the volume from one availability zone to another availability zone using snapshot concept. And this one I have named it as, it's my own words, this task name is called cross task or cross AZ task. Okay, so volume move also possible? No, you cannot say that. We are using the snapshots. Using snapshots, you will be moving the volumes. We cannot say moving the volumes, the data, basically. Yeah, using snapshot only, yes. Is this clear, guys, on the snapshots? And let's talk about here now images. How Bahu can be changed into Kijer? Right? How you are asking general question or technical question? How Bahu can be changed into Kijer? How wow, I didn't understand the question. How Bahu can be changed to Kijer? Meaning? You mean the instance? You mean the instance? AZ how change? Okay. Let's hear this and you will get to know. Okay guys. <clears throat> we are talking about the data. So guys, you may okay, let's let's hear this. Maybe you will get some idea here. Even I didn't understand the question, but I thought I understood the question now, but yeah, let's see. So, images. Next concept is, is here, images. So, what is an image? Again, guys, what is an image? <laughs> Picture, oh yes, photocopy, snapshot. Previously, just now we discussed about the snapshot and image is also you are saying snapshots. Okay, this is also related to copy only. This is also related to copy only. Okay, guys, see. How many steps are there to launch an EC2 instance? Seven steps are there. So, in one of the steps, guys, your EC2 instance will definitely need to have an operating system. Yes, right? Okay. Let me give an example of the image in general. Let's say for example, uh, I am a, let's assume that I am a desktop support guy and then my manager said that, hey, uh, hey Riaz, there are uh, uh, 10 people, those who are coming and joining our project. Please set up the computers for them. Right? So here, I need to, I get this brand new machines and I need to install operating system in one by one machine. Yes or no? Yeah. Yes, I need to log into this machine and then open the CD drive and then install operating system here. And then guys, how much time will it take to install the operating system? Roughly. It'll take three hours. Yeah, it'll take two to three hours to install the operating system. Right? Yeah. So, I'll... Uh, yes, so what I do is I, I take the CDs and then I'll put it here and then I'll wait for three hours. And I take it, I put it the CD here and wait for three hours. Like this, like this, like this, like this. <clears throat> so I spend the whole night and then make sure this entire machines, 10 machines are set up and ready for use for the next day, next, uh, for the next day. Okay, so now because I need to install this operating system one by one, one by one, one by one. So, <clears throat> <clears throat> so <clears throat> this guy my manager now he said uh, he came in the morning he said like hey very good job Riaz and you have done all the things good one and he said that now tomorrow 20 people are coming and please make this ready again tomorrow 20 machines now 
So is it is it is it is it okay to go with this method to have with again 20 new machines? It'll take a lot of time. So because installing this operating system one by one, one by one, which is taking three, 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 three hours, will take time. So instead of that, instead of that, how I is it is it is it how it would be like if I create an image of my operating system, right? So can be a Windows image, that can be a Linux image. Guys, how many types of operating systems are there? True only, no? no Windows and Linux. Right? So, yes, either you install Windows operating system or Linux operating system. So now, I create, I have a image here. I create an image of the operating system. And what I do is, I give this image parallelly to all the machines in one shot we can do using the image. So all will finish now in the arts. Can we say this images are reusable? Yes. So this is the image. So can I say that image is the copy of the operating system? Everyone. Can I say the image is the copy of the operating system? Yes. Image is the copy of the operating system. Image is don't get <coughs> don't get the snapshot here. Snapshot is different now here. Snapshot we just finished. So call it as image. So copy of the operating system is called an image. You understood the concept of image, right? So let us talk about in AWS right now. <coughs> so here, what is an image meaning? Copy of the OS is called image. <coughs> yeah, we will not get .iso here. Okay, guys. So this image in AWS, this image in AWS, we call it as AMI, Amazon Machine Image. What is it called? Amazon Machine Image image guys call it as give a break a m i don't call it as a m i right you can call right because in telugu we call it as a m i meaning which girl right a m i right so a m i amazing machine image right yeah so <clears throat> what is this a m i a m i meaning yeah yeah yeah. So yeah. So uh, AMI meaning here, guys. Can we say this? Uh, the template of the OS is called AMI. Template. Or yeah, template of operating system is called AMI. Back in the mind. Hmm? AMI. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> the template of the operating system is called an AMI. So keep this in mind. <clears throat> I just told you. There are two types of OS. Okay, can you tell me, guys? AWS will give um, Windows 10, huh? EC2 instances. You say that uh, we have a Windows operating system and then Linux operating system. Okay, what does this EC2? Uh, what does this AWS provide? Windows machine meaning? Will it provide Windows 10? Just keep this in mind. This image is AWS will not give you. That is called guys. Do you know this already? That we know server OS. We have client based operating system and server based operating system. Keep this in mind. AWS will not give client based operating system. Here, everything what we discuss about is servers based only. Right? You don't get the. You have a separate service called in AWS workspace. So, there. Uh, uh, there you will get the separate thing, but here in EC2, Windows, you will get Windows Server 2012, 2016, 2019, like AWS will give you the Windows Server, not the client page. So here in, Red, uh, in Linux, we have something called Red Hat hmm? uh, or Ubuntu. 
you have so many flavors again we'll talk about later right yeah we'll talk about that later. yeah amazon linux yes so please keep this in mind that operating system you will get windows operating system and linux operating system can we say that guys aws will provide you plain os or aws can also provide with plain os with few applications there few applications possible yes na plain os or you can have only operating system guys and also with the operating system he will install something and then he will keep it as an image you can let's say for example you have windows machine a uh, windows server 2019 there that is a plain operating system nothing is there software and he can also provide an image with windows server 2019 plus sql server installed it's your wish if you want to take a plain os take it if you want a os with the sql server you take it yes possible na right so you can get with the plain os or you can get with the os with few applications also because images are reusable let me give an example let's say this is our ec2 instance is is it two and in this we have uh, volumes no this uh, root volume and we have additional volume this is root and this is additional volume okay nice and definitely you know very well that root volume has operating system okay so guys what is snapshot first tell me that snapshot what is snapshot yes copy of the volume we call it as snapshot yes copy of the volume is called the snapshot very good now now you might have a requirement that to take a backup of uh, individual volumes if you have a requirement of taking the backup of individual volumes and that is called snapshot but don't you also have a requirement to take the whole machine backup right whole ec2 instance if you are taking the whole ec2 instance backup or a copy then that bloody thing we call it as ami image if you are taking the whole one that is called ami okay the question here is guys if you take the whole ec2 instance copy that includes your volumes also if you want to take individual backup then go for snapshot but if you want to take the whole entire machine backup then you have a concept called ami so ami so ami meaning copy of entire ec2 instance so that includes volumes also includes yes volumes getting it getting it guys yes so i'll give another example so linux okay so for example guys aws is providing you the linux uh, image already na basic guys remember remember aws if you are when you are going and launching a ec2 instance you no need to worry about this operating system guys images are readily available by the aws images are readily available by the aws if you want windows machine select it pick it up i told you there are seven steps to launch an ec2 instance inside that the second step or first step uh, uh second step or oh, sorry the first step itself is to choose the image you want windows machine or you want linux machine choose it those images will be already provided by aws guys can't we create our own images again yes we can for example let's say for example you are launching an ec2 instance with a plain image which is provided by a aws a linux machine 
Linux image. From this Linux, I can go and launch my EC2 instance from this Linux AMI. Can I go and launch my EC2 instance? Guys, yes or no? Can I go and launch an EC2 instance? Definitely, I can go and launch an EC2 instance. Okay, this is, I have launched an EC2 instance. Okay. What operating system does it has, guys? Linux or Linux? Linux. This is EC2. This is EC2. I have launched an EC2 instance, guys. I have launched an EC2 instance from the PCMI, which is provided by AWS. Okay, can I log into this EC2 and then uh, install some application? For example, can I install Tomcat on the on my EC2 instance? Yes, yes, I can install. Yes, I can install Tomcat, etc. Okay, I have my EC2 instance ready with the base MI, <coughs> but also have Tomcat inside it. And now, can I create an image out of it again here? Can I create an image out of it again? Yes, you can create an image out of my EC2 instance. So this is a Linux AMI, but this time, what does this Linux, uh, this AMI contains? It contains Tomcat also. This is an image now. And from this image, can I launch an EC2 instance again? Yes, like this. From image, you can launch an EC2 instance. From EC2 instance, you can create an image. You're getting it? You're getting it, guys? Yes, right? Yes. So AWS will provide you a images already. You can pick it up. You can cherry pick up. And then here, you can also create your own AMI. Oh, my God. Tomcat is an application server. Okay. So let me write down for you here. So can we say that copy of image includes all configuration. That we did on original instance. Yes. Do you agree with this? Copy of that image. The image includes all configuration that we did on our original EC2 instance. Yeah. Okay, I'll put EC2 for you. Okay. Nice. And ready? Okay. So from EC2 instance, you can create an image. Image meaning what, guys? AMI, right? And from image, what do you create again? EC2 instance. EC2 instance. Can you answer me, guys, here? One AMI can be used multiple times to launch an EC2 instance? Definitely, yes. Because images are reusable. One AMI can be used to uh, uh, can be can be used multiple times to launch EC to launch multiple EC2 instances. Multiple EC2 instances. So that meaning here, AMIs are reusable. Okay, guys, same way, AMIs doesn't have availability zones. AMIs doesn't have availability zones, same as snapshots. Guys, can you tell me here? Okay, there is a question, Tom Ted. Okay, Ashish, thank you, yeah. Thank you. Okay, so is it possible to directly use or log in AMIs? Yes or no? Definitely no. So like the snapshots. So from AM, you you cannot directly use AMIs to log in or uh, what you need to do? You need to launch an EC2 instance from the AMI in order to log in it or use it. So you cannot directly use AMI to log in. Instead, 
launch EC2 instance from the image and then log into the EC2 instance. Okay. If AMI is reusable, then we will lose data which was there in earlier. If AMI, we reuse it. If you are reusing it, whatever the data you have it in that AMI, why do you lose? The same data you will get it. Yeah. Good one. Yeah. So guys, by default, so by default, AMIs are private or public? Very good. So, by default, so you will get snapshots concepts here. By default, AMIs are private. If required, if required, we can make it public. Yeah. AMIs are regional or global? Yes, it is. Yes, AMIs are regional. AMIs are regional. Very good. So can you tell me, guys, AMIs can be copied from one region to another region? Yes, possible. AMIs can be copied from one region to another another region. AMIs can be shared from one account to another account? Yes. AMIs can be shared from one AWS account to another AWS account. Yep. Very good. Okay. So guys, <clears throat> If we share the, if if you make this images public, or see guys, let's say for example, you have a company, something called Boom Limited. So Boom Boom Company is there, and then they have their own software, which is very hard, which is very hard to configure. And as a customer, you need to configure that Boom software, and it is very difficult for you to configure. So can the Boom Company can release an AMI? can release an image with the Boom software already configured na? and you can use it. You can pay them and you can use it. Possible? Yes. So not only this Boom company, like this, so many companies are there, they have their uh, images placed in a place, in one place. That place is called marketplace. What is that called? Marketplace. All public images are, are located at all public images are located at AWS Marketplace, all public images. Very good. Guys, what does the images contain? OS, can you say that? Image contain, contain image, contain OS, right? Where does the OS sit? On the volume only, na? root volume. Yes. So you have, it can be in your root volume or also it can be in your instance store volume also. Na? We have two types, we know, huh? instance store volume. It can be, images contain OS, that OS can be placed on the root volume. We have learned that we have, there are two categories in volumes, root volume, uh, we, uh, EBS volume, uh, instead of EBS, I should have root, I should call EBS or both are same, like original, EBS volume, like this. So you can go with uh, EBS volume or instance store volume. So can I say this with this? Can I say this? Images are backed by either EBS volume or instance store volume. Can I say that? Images are backed by either EBS volume or OI. It's for you only, you cannot take the screenshot properly.
Yeah. <clears throat> Do you see the lines on my screen? Hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. So guys, here, do you understand till here, everyone? So can, uh, where are the snapshots stored? Snapshots are stored in? Snapshots are stored in? Snapshots are stored in S3. The same way here, we have AMIs, AMIs or stored in S3 as well. But remember, this is provider's S3, not our S3. Yeah, very good. Okay, guys, can you customize your own? Uh, okay, so guys, you have a base image and on top of it, you have your launch an EC2 instance and from top of it, you created an image out of it. And what is this image, newly created image called? The newly created image is called, okay, let me write this clearly, you can read it. If you customize, if you customize the app on operating system and then take the image and that image is called guys custom AMI or golden AMI. What are those called? Custom AMI or golden AMI. The, the image that you have created from the EC2 is called customized AMI or you can call it as golden AMI. What do you call it as? Customized AMI or golden AMI. Guys, is this clear? One last question. In the snapshots, let's say for example, you took the snapshot of the, uh, of the root volume, right? Guys, you have a snapshot of the root volume, okay. Uh, uh, root volume you have root volume and from root volume you created a you took a snapshot okay what does this snapshot contain now operating system only now the snapshot contain operating system only right okay as the snapshot contain operating system can you create an AMI out of it We will see that also, yeah. Guys, is this clear? On this snapshots and images, which are very, very, very important, we'll be playing a lot on these things. Nice, great. Take a photos, take a snapshots. Let me know once done. How to remove that? Who oh, <laughs> tell me? You placed it, and uh, how should I remove? Can anyone? Uh, I have remove parties. <laughs> remove share, share, annotate and share. No, I cannot do anything there. No. Why did you do? And that's the reason I told. Yeah. And the next one. No, these lines are not on my paints. These lines are... Okay, hold on, can we see something here? Here it is. 
Ah, hey. Oh, okay. I did that. Okay. How to exit? Okay. Now this. Yes, now I got to know how to do how to remove that. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So guys, can you give me the final CC for today on this topic? Exactly ten thirty now. Great. So that is all guys for today and I'll see you on Monday. So tomorrow there is no class. Tomorrow is Sunday. There is no class. So I'll see you on Monday with the next topic. Until then take care. Bye bye. Have a nice day and have a nice weekend too. Bye.